Good evening. How are we doing tonight? I am doing pretty fantastic. I'm looking forward to playing some Half-Life 2. Oh god, I've got a horrible case of hiccups. Oh, there we go. Oh, shoot. I knew there was something I'd forgotten. Oh my goodness, my fucking throat. Ugh. Wait, hold on. Oh, how goes it, Tara? Ooh. So, uh, on the off chance anybody sees this, uh, oh, oh God, I'm all fucked up. My throat. Mm -mm. I keep hiccuping, and it's really annoying. Oh. And I literally just started hiccuping in the last, like, five minutes. Which, which is making it really frustrating. Because I was fine not too long ago. Hmm. There we go. I'm not sure what, I'm not quite sure why I wasn't showing up, but, oh well. It's cold today? Well, uh, that sucks. <laughs> I'm not sure what else to tell you. It, it's cold sometimes and it just kind of sucks. Let's see. Man, I'm like all the way on the wrong side. Interesting. Can't seem to center myself. Oh well. Whatever. Ah, uh, need to fucking uh, pull up the game. So I'm gonna be fully honest, right? I did play uh, a little bit of Half Life Two once upon a time. Jesus, that's loud. And by once upon a time, I mean that I was, uh, I was playing on the orange box on Xbox 360. Hold on a second. There we go. Hopefully that's a little better. I was playing on Xbox 360, and I remember, I distinctly remember, being very, very annoyed with it. Lower the game volume. Lower the music volume. And I was annoyed with it because, uh, there's this thing that fucking exists. Uh, the Jet Ski Chronicle. There's this whole fucking section where, where you're just on a jet ski with a gun. And I remember being really fucking annoyed with this section because it was really boring. Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. I remember Not you. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. How oh, has it? The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So, wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. See, I remember seeing that, and I remember it was, like, super interesting. And I was curious about the, the world. What's going on, bro? We're on a train again. How you doing, pal? I have never seen you being normal. The only time I've ever seen you exist is on a fucking what's it called? Well, no, I don't even remember. End of the line. Is it? 
Welcome. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, welcome to City 17. It's safer here. I really like the lore of Half-Life, but like, never think of the gameplay. It's all I have left. All right, I'm moving. Jeez. Hmm, interesting. How you doing, Pickaxe Freeman? This is the first time I'm playing through this game, so... Were you the only ones on that train? Yeah, we were the only ones on the train, lady. I pl Welcome. <laughs> Call you Welcome Freeman. All right, City Freeman. You have yeah. chosen... I know very little about the world except for what I played in Half-Life 1, which was a few months ago now. And I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit lost as to what's going on. Can you name NPCs? Sure. Go for it. Beagle Feagle? Is that these guys? Let's talk. What's up? Welcome. To city 17. Interesting. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. Twenty years after the first game. Jesus. That's a, quite a bit. This must be a mistake. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. Huh. Seems there's a... Uh, Something going on here. He owns me a bear, a beer. About that beer I owed you. Oh, it's me, Gordon Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, this guy was the security the guard, right? Put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Are you? Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Oh. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here somewhere. Go for it. She would have a better idea. Naming guns and NPCs and other oh. things. Oh. Welcome to the throne of God. I appreciate the follow, Freeman. I think that makes you number 50? Or 51? I don't know exactly. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. I'm blowing your cover. You're the one who's doing this. Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll meet mm. up with you later. Ooh. Okay. So that much I appreciate. That's new. You're gonna do a kill count? Oh boy. That'll be interesting. Oh shit. Okay. Just of head crabs. What if I don't want to? What you? Fuck you. Oh, that's an achievement. <laughs> Asshole. Thank you for writing, sir. Of course, your question touches on one of the basic Uh, somehow I feel like I've, I've fucked myself. Oh, son of a- Oh, holy shit. Dickhead. Huh, okay, I guess that was the way I was supposed to go. 
Oh god, shit faces on the TV. This guy? Allow me to address the anxieties underlying your concerns, rather than try to answer every possible question you might have left on this. My god. First, let yeah. us I played this game for a few hours on Xbox 360 once upon a time, but I don't recall, like, any of it. So I don't know where the fuck anything is. Oh. It also requires planning and forethought. Okay, I'm gonna go go away from that. To our neural that seems pieces. like. How far did I get? I don't know. I was still on the jet ski, which I think is relatively early on. I don't remember exactly. I remember being on the jet ski, getting annoyed by it, and then stopping because the jet ski was annoying me. I guess I'm still going this way. Interesting. Ooh, hello. That looks like bad news. This is how it always starts. First the building, then the whole block. They have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one. They always create a reason. Also, you find with achievements Easter eggs, you can tell me. Oh, sure. That baby? What baby? On the playground? What, this? It's a little freaky looking. <laughs> oh, um. What do you, what do you? Fuck you. That's a creepy Easter egg. It sure looks creepy. Like some shit out of child's play. Go away. What are you doing? Stop following me. Kill everyone, Tara, please. I'm not gonna just kill everyone. Not yet. I don't even have a gun. Ooh. These locks are freaking me out. What sort of dystopia did Earth turn into in the last 20 years? They copied a dead baby found from in real life for this? That's morbid. <laughs> That's morbid as fuck! <laughs> what the shit? Ooh, we're not going, uh... Ooh, mm, yeah. Mm, mm, yeah, I'm, going, I'm coming in here with you. Oh. I thought you were a cop. He's one of us. I'm one of you? I told you they'd be coming for us next. Just this once, I hope you're wrong. Will they ever deactivate the suppression field and let us breed again? Allow me to address the anxieties underlying no your body. concerns, rather than try to answer every possible question you might have left unvoiced. First, let us consider the fact that... Oh. Oh, no. Now we're really gonna get it. I did not, uh, mean to do that. Oh. Hmm. Okay, I'll keep moving. I can't take it anymore. It's gonna be okay. What are we going to do? This is a little, uh... Hmm. When is it all going to end? I'm not gonna lie, it kind of strikes me as almost like... It's not really like. Uh, Attention. It almost seems like it's open world in its construction, but then they like. They kind of direct you into where they want you to be. Head for the roof? Okay. Is he. drugged out or something? Civil protection! Yeah. Well. Six meters. Oh god, they're coming for me. Get in here, quick. Keep moving. Head for the roof. Head for the roof? Where the fuck am I going? The girl and the boy hugging on the couch is an Easter egg? Is it? 
Did you know this game's entire storyline is actually in the head of a Reddit mod who fell into a coma after playing Genshin Impact for 17 full hours? There's a cutscene at the end where Gordon is revealed to be fat as fuck and covered in soy milk. Oh god, we're getting out of here. <laughs> that would be really funny. <laughs> but, like, this game existed long before Genshin Impact, so... <laughs> Unfortunately, as funny as that would be... No, Tara. <laughs> They're still shooting at me! Oh, I escaped the, the apartment block. Cool. I don't like that they were shooting at me, though. Ooh. <laughs> Um, 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 no, you don't. Oh, shit. What's going on? He drank 92 prime energy cans and teleported into the 2000s. Your baby's coming up, Dr. Freeman, I presume. Is this is this her? We better hurry. Understandable. The combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Mmm. I remember, um, this way. I remember there was some I mod or whatever that, you might not have a map. that someone made that apparently has <laughs> fully modeled 3D vagina I'm for this Alex woman. <laughs> My father worked with me back in Black Mesa. <laughs> Completely I'm unnecessarily. Sure <laughs> 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 it's insane to me. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember it being like a whole like thing. <laughs> Don't get my dad started on Dr. Breen. Like people people were upset about this mod being terrible for some reason. <laughs> I don't know the details, but I know that that was something that was br that got brought up. <laughs> Just the vagina. Oh, I, ge I guess I don't know I don't remember the the specifics. <laughs> Freeman, USA, USA, <laughs> yeah. We've been helping people escape the city on foot. It's a dangerous route to my father's lab through the old canals. Born. Today, we're finally on the verge of having a better this? way. Dishonored? <laughs> Here, let me buy you a drink. Oh yeah, you're gonna buy me a drink? Oh, and by the way, what the fuck? Nice to finally meet you. That's cool as shit. Where did she get to? Lamar, come Lamar. out of there. Uh oh, everything all right, Doctor Kleiner? Oh, uh, hello, Alex. Well, uh, almost that all right. That lamb symbol is where Lamar supply caches are at. Again. Sounds if good to me. Better, I'll make sure I'd to keep an eye out. Barney of trapping and. My goodness, Gordon Freeman. Yeah, it I've been really here. Is you, isn't it? I found him wandering around outside. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't he? We owe troublemaker, a great deal bro. To I didn't Freeman. know where I was going. Even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune time. Do I? Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. All the crates <laughs> under the shelves is an Easter egg. Nonsense. Your talents surpass your loveliness. <laughs> Let's just this see thing? if this thing works, okay? Well, is he here? No, I'm are. not here. Man, Gordon, you stirred up the hive. We can't keep him something? here long, Doc. It'll jeopardize everything we've worked for. Don't worry. He's coming with me. Oh no, it's That's good. Right, I should have just this left it where it was. This is a red letter day. We'll inaugurate the new teleport with a double transmission. You mean it's working? For real this time? Oh my god, am I retarded? I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. There's nothing to be nervous about. Nightmares about the cat? What happened to the cat? Major strike. What cat? Yeah, what Doc, cat? That's what I want to know. Not taking the streets, you might as well get him out of his civvies. What? Oh dear, you're right. I almost forgot. Barney, I'll give you the honor. <laughs> I've got to get back on my ship, but okay. Oh yeah? Am I gonna get my, my suit? Finer at the PCs. 
Is this what Ted K Here was doing before go. he made those letter bombs? Very potentially. Get it off me. Holy shit. Lamar. It's Lamar. I, I remember you. Test. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's debeaked and completely harmless. Oh. The worst she might do is attempt to couple with your head fruitlessly. Get that thing away from me. Yeah, my pet. Fruitlessly. Hop up. No, not up there. Yeah, I don't care how fruitless no. it is. A dog humping my leg is also no, fruitless, right but like I don't want no, fie. It'll be I don't want that to happen either. Yeah, longer if we're lucky. Give me cat. Barney. You're not an animal person. <sighs> Well, Gordon, I see Look at the table where the PC is at. Still fits you like a glove. At least this one? the glove parts do. I've made a few modifications, but I'll just acquaint you with the essentials. Now, let's Down see. Here. Mesa. The Caramel. Mark 5 hazardous environment suit has been redesigned for comfort and utility. Has it? Oh dear. Doc, we don't have the time boxes. for this. Blue At least get that suit you stuff, Gordon. Good idea. There's a charger on the wall. I've modified your suit to draw power from combine energy outlets. It's a Jesus toolbar on their browser. Control. That Meanwhile, one on. The, let's get this show on the road. That one, the yellow. This one. Or, Shut up, I'm trying to find secrets next to me. You coming? Give me a second. I'm looking for stuff. Down. Activate all this stuff, and none of it's doing anything. It's a Back to the Future Easter egg. Come on. Oh shit! I knew I should have watched that movie like a couple nights ago when I thought about it. The yellow crate. Oh, is it a? Uh... thing that had the flux, flux capacitor in it, is it? The plutonium. This way, Gordon. Oh my god, they won't shut up, bro. Let me get this. Okay. Well, that's not a whole lot of, uh, it's not a whole lot of juice. Where are we going? Why don't you position yourself near the panel over there and wait for my word? Isaac, are this you panel? there? Yes, yes, Eli. Bit of a hold up on this end. What's up, Eli? You'll never guess who found his way into our lab this morning. Yep, it's me. Uh, I'm the best. That's not who I think it is. Indeed, that's what she it said, is. shut up. And it's our intention to send him packing <laughs> straight away in the company of your lovely daughter. <laughs> shut are you up. First, Dad. We're all set on this end. Then let's do it. Okay. Let's see. The massless field flux should self-limit, and I've clamped the manifold parameters to receive the base and LT orbifold, Hilbert inclusive. Conditions could hardly be more ideal. That's what you said last time. Hey, uh, yeah, about that cat. Initializing about that cat. <laughs> two, one. I still want to hear about the cat, too. No, fiddlesticks. What now? Uh. Something came unplugged. I figured if I plug it back in, it'll be fine. Oh, I have to throw it. Gordon, go right ahead. Oh. Very good. Final sequence. Commencing. Now. I can't look. 
<laughs> I can't look. He's so afraid for her. She disappeared. She's gone. She vanished into thin air. Oh, did it work? Let's she find out. Sir. Hey, Doc. <sighs> Thank good. Oh, that worked. My relief is almost palpable. Fantastic work, Izzy. Well, I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman proved an able assistant. Let's go ahead and bring what, Gordon through uh, now. Okay. Right you are. Speak I might have, like, just plugged moments. something in. Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. Shut the right, fuck up, Barney. Barney. You piece of shit. Thanks. Gordon, Did we just eat a bitch? Yes, we, we teleported a bitch. I made a whole now, video about how this, this means that she's dead now and that we actually created a clone of her. Initialize. That's what you said. In I know. Three, two, one. Uh, Barney, if you'd be oh, man. Good luck out there, Gordon. Yes, indeed. We're ready to project you, Gordon. Bon voyage and best Look, of luck. Look, this is your future all of the you will go. Uh oh, it? Lamar. What is that? I thought that was a bad guy. You guys have been infiltrated. What's the meaning of this? Who are you? I'm gonna kill you. Get in here. You didn't lose me. I'm right here. What do you mean? What's going on, bro? I freed them. How did I free them? That's a Vort gun. They were enslaved. Oh, must have been so when I killed that fucking giant testicle in on a fucking. What's the name of it? It's like X something. The big baby. Yeah. Zen. Yes, I wanted to say Zora for some reason, like X O R, but that was not correct. Oh, hello. Um. Somehow I feel like. Uh, I've attracted the wrong kind of attention. Go away. These guys are assholes. They keep following me. I want my... CSGO flashbangs be like... I actually was watching my buddy play uh, CS2. Uh, fucking... Just now. Before uh, streaming myself. Hey, Gordon! The and Citadel's on full it's, alert. I've never it's seen it's unreal how like flashbangs like get out of City 17 as fast as you can, Gordon. Take the old canals, right? They'll get you to Eli's oh, lab. The it's, it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees, and they'll help you if they can. I come the with you. The name is called Dr. Buzan. Kleiner. Why is oh, that? Before I forget, I think you dropped this back in Black Mesa. So it's the exact Good luck same. Out there, buddy. You're gonna need it. I got the crowbar. Woo! Calling it that. Just take an Uber. <laughs> Probably should. Fucker. Fuck you, bitch ass. They're coming after me, bro. They're coming after me, and I'm not so sure I like it. Ah! Uh... Okay. Woo! I made it out of there. Rip Joe and Jen. Fun fact. Uh, G-Men called the Combine in. They're aliens. They're aliens? 
But they look human. Root canal. I like the gun. Oh, uh, is your is your homeboy dead? That sucks. Rip going. Let's see. Anything here? No, doesn't look like it. I'm not gonna lie. This this game looks like surprisingly good considering it came out in 2004. I love halving the lives too. Just run. Oh, that Wait, this is a uh, this is M It is. Two pistol headshots kills a metro cop. Ah, oh, holy shit. What is this? Dark Souls, bro? What the fuck was that? more like the come in. <laughs> Got so much ammo. What the fuck? No, fuck it. I don't even I don't even know where that's coming from. Combine. Oh, shit. Okay. God, I'm gonna get skill diffed by these fucking NPCs. Wait a second. I'm retarded. I'm going the wrong way. Uh, getting into the canal. Oh my goodness. Oh my damn. Oh my goodness. Gorblin Freeble. Gordon Freeman plays Minecraft. That is actually... I never had exposure, much exposure to uh, Half-Life outside of Mind of Freeman. Oh, God. Uh, when I was Guess younger. Guess sirens are for you, huh? Good thing you found us. You're not the first to come through here by... This is the Freeman. The Combine's Reckoning. The Combine's Reckoning. Look. This, this is the Freeman. Railroad. Main station's right around the corner. They'll uh -huh. get you started on the right foot. Meanwhile... Let my Vortigaunt friend here give you a jolt to get you going. Yeah, give me a jolt. Whatever that means. You did literally nothing to Be me. Be careful now. We really can't afford to get noticed. Civil Can we get, you listen to here? Alex it's Jones on the radio? The Would we want Alex Jones or fucking, uh, or the, this, uh, president dude? 
Would one legitimately be better than the other? Did he shoot green solar energy at my penis? Probably. What's he doing with that third arm? <laughs> this is the thick men, that's what I heard. Oh my god. Am I an idiot? I'm an idiot. <laughs> I got fooled! Don't... Don't do that. What the fuck? Don't like fall apart around me, that would be awful. He shreked it. He shreked my penis. I tried to save you, Birdie, but I couldn't. Attention, protection team. You were already dead. Oh my one more machine data. Hey, over here! Yeah. Oh. Ah, oh, what the fuck? Oh, they've got a machine gun in place. That's not good. Got him. Okay. Bodied. Hey, I'm going to go watch anime. I'll see you another time. And no, not hentai. Aww. Have a good one, man. Hope you have fun. What the fuck? Man. I need to know if these, if this pistol operates on, like, Counter-Strike logic, or if I move at all, it, like... Makes me Surgical super inaccurate. Are targeting railway stations. Repeat, civil protection is coming down on underground stations. We're already getting refugees from the right and outlying. Yeah, bro. Damn, is this shit? I fucked up. I fucked up. Let's, uh, let's get back up there, shall we? Let's get back up and, uh, not jump off the machine gun this time. way is it could I have just run past them this whole time wait I see the end does it take seven bullets to kill one of these things that sucks. We're Olimar and we have to kill Louis. Does Olimar kill Louis? Over here! Yeah, what's going on, bitch? Keep going, friend. That station was raided, but there's others up ahead. Are there? Sick. I'm gonna stay here in case any others come through. I don't think you have much of a choice. Alive. Nobody should. <laughs> Ooh, nope, get out of there. <laughs> that was terrible. I stood underneath everything like an idiot. Oh my god. I'm 
so not- Oh! I'm so not used to using all these physics items. Jesus Christ. Oh my goodness, oh my damn. Oh god, okay, okay. Here. Oh, 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 okay, okay, hold on. I remember this part. Got him. I killed five with one explosion. And now I'm in serious hurty. Ooh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the body that they, this is the texture they used uh, for the real life. Like they use a real life corpse for this texture, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember the circumstances of the of the deceased's uh, death, but it's one of those things that was a little, like pe people learned about it a little bit later on and were like, "What the fuck?" Oh god! Under, under, under! Over, over, over! No, that's not over. Swim, 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 swim. That's not the right way. Oh, Gordon goes swimming. Yeah. There's quite a lot of water in this beginning section of the game. A lot more than I remember there being, frankly. Let me grab a sip. Ugh. There's a lot, a lot of water. And in this part... If I'm not mistaken, there's a kind of intent here is to use bricks to weigh down the other side. Yep, you do that. Oh, come on. Come on. How many of these do I need to stack up? Surely. Is that the intention? Because if it is, I don't like it. Right. Bro, I'm getting skill diffed by this tiny fucking gap. Wait, why am I not gaining like any air when I jump? annoying enough that I'm just going to go ahead and make another save. That was... <laughs> that was embarrassing, frankly. What weighs more, one kilogram of bricks or one kilogram of feathers? Um, one kilogram of feathers. Uh, because there's more of them. So... You, you sit and think on that. Me up, me up, me up. Woo! One 
kilogram of steel? No. You see, the question is malformed, though, because, I mean, technically speaking, it's, uh, uh, what was it? I remember learning this when I was in, uh, uh, when I was in high school, that, like, technically, uh, weight and mass are different things, and we just use them interchangeably because it's convenient, but they're not actually measuring the same thing. One kilogram of tub versus one kilogram of cakes. That's me floating down the Ganges. Ganges? I have no idea how to pronounce that one. Sorry. Got him! Okay, okay. Ganges. I'm like trying not to s slide all the way down. I always like putting onion in the cap, but I don't actually know what he's doing. I mean, you don't need to know what he's doing. Generally speaking, the fact that he's, uh, doing something at all is... Well, it can be good or bad. I guess he's just casting a spell ominously. He's just standing there. Menacingly! he's just casting spells ominously. That may very well be the case. Fucker. Oh, that helicopter is aiming at me! I didn't like that, that was mean. Oh my goodness, oh my damn. I'm not quite sure why my sprint and my flashlight are on the same thing. I mean, it seems like every once in a while when you have him casting, you have him casting to summon food. Okay. You're gonna be the last one through. Be glad you're not the guy they're looking for. Poor bastard doesn't stand a chance. Sounds like they're calling in every safety unit in City 17. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a good thing it's not me they're looking for, right, guys? Gorb gun is drunk. Better nerd. can't wait until I get a gun with this fucking pistol. It's not a bad pistol. I just like other guns. Oh, oh my god! Morphine administered. Morphine administered? Is that what happens when I get to low health? It's just giving me morphine? Like, yeah, you're probably in a lot of pain. That was annoying. Have I been saving? Um, not as often as I probably should. 
And I blame that on the fact that there's no, uh... Oh, fuck. Um, hmm. I blame that on the fact that there's no quick save. Holy shit. Um... What the fuck? Jesus, why the fuck wouldn't that break? Is it F10 or Alt plus F4? Better test both. <laughs> Very funny. I'm not gonna fucking Alt F4 the game. Look, the day I get all, I get got by somebody doing Alt F4 is the day that you realize that I have been up for 35 hours. But like F5, no. Oh, it does have quick save. It's just on F6 instead of F5. Like, like, I. Psychopaths put this shit. It's F6. F9 to quick load. Go to sleep. No, no, no. I'm, I'm fine right now. I'm saying that if I get got, then I'll have been up for 35 hours, and that's like the only way that it'll happen. I've been up a normal amount of time today. I mean, it's a little bit, uh... I mean, it's like a little bit late because, you know, that's just the way I am. Oh. All right. Yule cowards don't even smoke crack. Okay, so ammo is different from the SMG. I got the 9mm and the... Okay, I see where I'm going. And then we go down again. I'm on the road again. Jesus. My god, it's like I'm playing Counter-Strike. Aye! Got that guy. Uh. I hate these fucking steam things. It, I remember. I remember that I saw them in the video games when I was a kid, and I was like, oh, that's pretty interesting. You know, that's a cool way to do it and have, like, a puzzle that exists in the world. And now I see them, and I'm like, I fucking hate this puzzle. I hate having to walk around this thing that will hurt me. It's very annoying. I think the biggest issue is just that it's... Uh, is just that it's steam and like i know that there is steam that is like really hot and will like burn you and shit 
But I'd rather just get hurt by fire. Fighting all these dudes, bro. Uh... Woo, there's too many guys. Actually, like a lot of enemies. At least it feels like a lot of enemies. I think I've been through a few levels at this point, but like the way Half Life's thing is set up, it makes it so it's kind of seamless and difficult to tell where they start and end. Which I do think is a positive in terms of like maintaining. Um, what do you call it? Maintaining immersion. Oh, that's a lot of... No, you know what? wizards in Gordon's area. Um, depends on whether you consider those, uh, weird alien dudes hot and or wizards. Because if yes, then yes. If not, then, like, I don't, I, you'd need to find out what, you're, we need to define wizard. That's not a thing. Which way am I going? Am I going down? No, oh, I guess I'm going down. Or not? Am I... I don't want to see their orbs, if I'm honest. That's fair. I don't want to see their orbs either. Hmm. Come on, bring it. Bring it down. Oh, this is doable. It's like I'm playing block sores all over again. I'm on cool math games. I'm 12 years old. Oh my god. There we go. This should be enough for me. Should be able to do this. Or not. I'm thinking I could just stack them up. I don't think that's the right way. The game doesn't even have real physics. Water isn't rising when you put the barrels in. I mean, for all I know, it might be. Right? But I feel like there's got to be a simpler solution than that. Because, like, finicky physics shit is something that Halo, or Halo, Jesus Christ, that Half-Life 2 is kind of infamous for. 
because they were super proud of the physics engine they put they built into the game. And to be fair, it's not a bad engine. Or it's it's not a bad uh, system. I don't know exactly what it is. Come on. But it's one of those things that's just like. I don't know enough about game design or game engines and shit to know how impressed I'm supposed to be about this. Angel Elisio Argeles? Arge I don't know how to pronounce your name. But hello, welcome! It's actually fucking great. Frickin' great, sorry. Wish more games were like this. And have you played other game? another game like this? I mean, I haven't played another, like, if you mean specifically, like, a first-person shooter who's, who uses a lot of physics, uh, physics puzzles in the world, I mean, no. And I mean, I think it's, I don't think it's bad or anything, it's just kind of, it's different from what I'm used to because I play a lot of just like classic boomer shooters, you know? Come on, come here. Oh. You just had to lock that way, didn't you? <laughs> Bummer. Let's see. How do I? Well, one of the things I've talked about before is, uh, like, I never played Half-Life when Half-Life was new, right? Like, even when I played, like, the Orange Box, like, I was playing it in 2008, 2009? I think it was 2009, and it was cool, like, it, it was definitely cool, but, it, like, by then, like, Half-Life 2 was already five years old, you know, TF2 was already a couple years old, um, what's another, what was the other one, and then Portal, Portal is evergreen, I think Portal is, like, the best part of the orange box, personally. I don't know if that's like a controversial take. What the fuck? What was that? Oh my god, this is... I also don't even know if this is the right way, if this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Playing Portal 2 co-op, playmate was as was bad at puzzles, and you were amazing. I distinctly remember that you kind of sucked at the puzzles. You know, I'm not I'm not gonna lie. I I, I distinctly remember playing. Uh, is this? Wait, don't tell me that this just. This isn't just gonna launch me up, is it? Nuh-uh. What do you mean, nuh-uh? Fuck you mean, nuh-uh? Okay, dude, what the fuck is... Why am I getting jumped? I'm like a white dude screaming the N-word in Detroit. Like, what? what is this shit? Why does it keep doing that? <laughs> please. Becky, please. Ah, god damn it. God damn it. 
Detroit kids are just as smart as white kids. Oh no, don't say that. Jesus. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Holy shit. I, I, I legit don't know if this is what I'm supposed to do either. So I could just be wasting my time. <laughs> this is so annoying. Look up. What do you mean? Like, am I legit just missing something? Pretty sure I came. Wait, is it that? Did I not come from? Okay, fuck it. I don't know. No, I don't. Was it just this? Wait, did I not come from here? I'm not sure anymore. No, because I came from here, right? So am I going up into there? Oh, because if that's the case, then I'm pretty sure I've soft locked myself. Because I don't have any barrels to stack up up here, and I don't think I can get any of them back up from here. Oh my god, I'm gonna get skill diffed by this game. Uh, there's no more. This feels wrong. I don't think this is the right way, but I can't get any of these fucking barrels up. time did I load or did I, did I save I don't know oh god I don't recognize this I don't I legit don't recognize this Fuck, where did I... Where the fuck did I come from? What the shit is going on? Okay. I rec okay, I recognize that. I have no idea how I initially got there. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. This is what I get, bro. This is what I get. Insane animal putting quick save on F6 instead of F5 like a normal human being. This feels like it's so far back. That's entirely because I spent so long on a fake puzzle that wasn't a puzzle and was just me being retarded. I was saying something about, uh... Oh, never mind. I never thought that I would get got by a puzzle. But what I was going to say is that I, I, I was talking about growing up. Like, I never played games that weren't influenced by Half-Life in some manner. Because... I grew up in a post-Half-Life world, for the most part. And as much... Like, I, I remember growing up and everyone that I knew who knew, sh who knew shit about game design, like, talked about Half-Life as being, like, this amazing, like, holy shit, like, Amazeballs video game. This, the, like, literally the holy the holy grail and if you disliked it then something was mentally wrong with you and i remember i didn't i mean on the one hand i didn't quite buy the hype ah oh, come on i didn't quite buy the hype uh, when I was younger. So is this... I swear to God, if this isn't the right way and, that I, act and I actually did have to go down there... So, actually, actually, no, I'm just retarded, because I fell in from the ceiling, right? Yeah, I fell in from the fucking ceiling. Holy shit. It goes to fucking, holy shit, dude. A little bit of disorientation. 
and it completely fucks me up. How do I get out of here? Because surely this is the right way. I appreciate it, Tub Tub. What the fuck? Is is this not the right way after all? He doesn't know what's happening. To be quite frank, I don't know what's happening either. Okay, okay. I do this, the water level raises. And because the water level is raised, I can go to the other room again. Okay, we made some progress. Bro, why is it stuck down there? Why is it stuck down there? Why won't you come up here, you piece of shit? Fuck you! Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, there we go. Jesus. I'm not gonna lie. These fucking physics puzzles, while they might have been groundbreaking at the time, are kind of getting on my nerves. I don't know how many of these are actually... I don't know how many of these transitions are, like, going between levels. Oh, 
They're like lost souls, but even more annoying. Get him, get him, get him. Alright, I've been thinking about uh, this D&D &D one shot idea that I've had. And it's very, I don't know, it's, it's very simple, very short. The idea is essentially just that the players are selected to compete uh, in some sort of like dungeon clearing event, right? And then like the two fastest teams or whatever have to face off against each other using the equipment they found in the dungeon. So like you have two teams, however big the party is that you have. Uh, like essentially you craft a, a party that is opposing your, your, your players with like the player, like player type rules and equipment. Like you roll for whatever equipment they found. Knowing that this, that this uh, machine, uh, machine, this body was, uh, Created using an actual corpse. It's a little bit. So it's, it's a little bit morbid. Hey, you're Freeman, aren't you? No. We got word you were coming. Did you? You got here at a bad time. You mean to tell me Black that? Mesa that East to Station Six. Do you read? Doctor Freeman is on his way down river. Lend him the airboat and give him all the help you can. Repeat. Oh, Colonel the Freeman fucking airboat. No, please. Anything with the airboat. Bit fucked up. Yeah, a bit fucked up. That's a weird kind of shelling. He was already dead. I like how they have an SMG here on the off chance you've somehow managed to avoid picking up one. It's like, look, if you don't want to use the enemies, use your allies. I hate these fucking things. Goddamn head crabs. Kill. Best level. Is this your favorite level of the game? Cause I I'm not gonna lie. I like Jesus, of course they did that. They've... Uh, I liked all... I've liked every level I've played so far. But the fucking airboat is coming up. And I fucking hate the airboat. Oh, you hated the airboat too. Good. I, I genuinely don't understand. Because I felt like there was so much time spent on the airboat. Okay, I gotta... Did I circle back to the beginning? I did. What the fuck? How did I do that? Alright, so 
so touching the metal is a bad idea. Hello. Yep, fuck that. Uh, hello, you hey, Dr. piece Freeman. of shit. I've been hoping you'd show up. Got this airboat all gassed up and ready to go. Did you now? It's gonna be tough dodging civil protection out there in the open. Drive hard and you'll make Get it. to the airboat. Find more help at Station 7. Oh Just god. The the river. It's not even it's like the old red barn. You'd better get going now. Shoot her, you unlock the best ending. Oh god. I hate this. Is it the best ending because it ends the game immediately? Or is it the best ending because then I don't have to do the airboat section? Oh, what the fuck? Warning. Hazardous radiation levels detected. Radiation levels. Oh my god, I have to click and hold. Ah. Uh... I like that you have to click and hold. What do you mean? Makes it feel like you're actually turning the crank instead of just moving it on its own free will after you look at it. What are you? What are you? What are you referring to? No, oh, hello. Like just the fact that I have to hold A or D to turn left or right. this thing. Station 12 is fucked. I came up here because I saw a human. I, I thought maybe there would be a, 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 a buddy or a story or something. But it turns out all we learn is that Station 12 is fucked. So bizarre. 
I'll say it's significantly better on PC than it was on Xbox. See Lambda. Alright, we're going through here. Let's see. So this is something, obviously. They're very proud of these of these uh, physics. Honestly, they should be. I just wish I didn't have to fuck with them all the time. Is that enough? I really don't know. Some say a man is made out of mud. how like I don't know 13 year old me 12 year old me handle the these, these things, things. because I have memories of this stuff but I don't remember the puzzle all that well hey fucker get out of my way maybe don't die bro we don't do that. Oh, yes. It makes me wonder. Up and over. Out of mud. Poor man's made out of muscle and blood. Muscle and blood and skin and bone. A mind that's weak and that strong. Sixteen times. One night. Another day over. He hurried down. I didn't even hear anything like crashing. I just saw that. I, I just drove underneath it and I heard him fall. Kibana time, kill, I agree. Morbid. Ooh. Is this a normal grenade? It sure seems like it. Oh, 
Murder, murder, murder. Kill, kill, kill. So that's broken. Um. Oh, that works. All right, I guess I gotta go back through. that ultimate fire. This shit painful, bro. I am taking damage. I don't like the airboat. It insists upon itself. someone make a pun about the fucking uh, the coffin of, it, of uh, Andy and Lele and what they said is that uh, I do not like the new uh, the new Tumblr game it incests upon itself and I found that rather amusing Oh, Gordon! 
successfully escaping uh, the combat. How about, how about us talking about that? <laughs> Come on, let me off. Avoid, avoid. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Please tell me that's the end. Oh, please tell me that's the end. Oh, my God. I think that was the end. Goodness, I didn't even consider that. You should chug a jug of ragu for 1,000 followers. Uh, I'm gonna veto that one. <laughs> I I have a severe dislike of uh, tomato-based products, and it. Like, I don't mind it if it's in a, if it's in, like, a dish, right? But, like, I don't, like, I refuse to have, like, ketchup or anything. You know, like, perfectly normal foods. Combine are a bunch of, uh, wow. I completely misread that one. How you doing tonight, Oink? Been a, uh, been well, hopefully. I got a revolver. I have the power of God and anime on my side. Can you believe how they nag you in the beginning with the can? Insensitive. I threw the can at the at the guard. bunch of lovely friends good he's f <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Oink. I'm restreaming to YouTube <laughs> Oh, I missed one. 
him. Fuck, I missed two. Oh my god. Kill, kill, kill. Murder, murder, murder. Kill, kill, kill. Oh god, I'm gonna die. that little flying thing. Oh my god. What the fuck? Ah, come on. start like just saving every couple enemies because this is getting ridiculous the world would be <laughs> the world belongs to people who don't nag you know what I'll, I, I'll I'm down with that that sounds fine to me hard mode or is this game too old to have hard mode? No, it's just on normal. I specifically said it's normal because I remember on uh, Half-Life 1 I had difficulty with uh, playing on hard. To the point where I was like, I didn't enjoy playing the game on hard. Meanwhile, I play Quake on Nightmare and it's fine. Shit my pants to protect the ghosts in the city, a sign that says ghosts are shitty. Everyone confused, okay, me too, so I fall asleep. I'm not gonna lie, I am getting kinda tired. I'm thinking I'll make it relatively short today. I don't know how much longer I wanna go, but fucking. I'm not gonna lie. Save and push forward. Fuck it. You should go I I will soon.
This game, fe uh, this feels really weird to me. I'm not gonna lie. Like, so, I don't know how familiar you guys are with, like, holy shit, uh, with the feel of different uh, kinds of shooters and, and the like. But, like, I've played, uh, I've played quite a few. The one that I tend to like the most is closest to Doom style. Basically, all kinds of shooters have like their play. Merits, merits. Like the biggest demerit, I'd say, with uh, with like the, the classic shooters is that uh, they are like every enemy in. Uh, like Doom, or Quake, or, you know, anything adjacent to those games, the biggest, like, every single enemy is weak to circle strafing, right? Like, they, uh, like, there is no, there's very little in the way of, like, tactical, uh, thought, in my opinion, and, like, I played a lot of those games and even like even like Quake on Nightmare as much fun as I have with it it's it's not it's kind of like a like turn the brain off and just let it do its thing let the game go and uh, do its thing I think it's fun this feels like it's trying to do that in a way but also feels like it, it controls, like, Counter-Strike, obviously, which, you know, for obvious reasons. But st it controls, like, Counter-Strike, and it gives me, like, this weird dissonance of, like, I feel like I should be do going much slower and much more methodically. But I feel like when I do that, I get punished. The old time strategies of either kiting or circle straight or thing or jump dodging. Yeah, like with like in Halo, right? Just like you bunny hop basically everywhere that you can to try and uh, avoid uh, to, to try and like confuse AI shots, right? And all all of that stuff is uh, more on that end. This, uh, th this kind of strikes a similar note to me as, like, uh, as, like, blood. And, like, I've, I've never meshed super well with the build engine games. Like, I've played a little bit of blood and I've played a little bit of Shadow Warrior. But they're, n it's never been quite as, uh, it never really clicked with me the same way that, like, Quake or Doom or, uh, like, even, like, early Halo is dead. Like, uh... And then the other extreme of that would be, like, I played a lot of, like, Counter-Strike, uh... Global Offensive when that, when that was its... What it was called. I think now it's CS2. I don't quite understand what CS2 is. It looks different from Go, but I, I don't know. It was culture shock when I played a cover shooter, not understanding that you can't kite or scrape. I mean, yeah, it, it, it really is a kind of culture shock, right? Because, like, if, if you played, like, tactical shooters the whole time, and then you, like, like, you go into, like, Halo, and you're taking cover and shit. Yeah, you'll get through, but it's not gonna feel quite right, because that's not what the game really wants you to do. 
Whereas if you have like, uh, oh my god, if if you played like a lot of s s stuff that's closer to like Doom or Quake, you might uh, you might have more success. But then if you play, if you if you've done nothing but play Doom and then you go into like uh, uh, go into like Rainbow Six, you know any of them, even not not even necessarily Siege, just going into Rainbow Six like, on the PlayStation 1, that will also feel really weird, because you're, like, you're not taking cover when, you, when you're supposed to and shit. So it's, uh, I like, it's kind of, uh, a thing that I, I, I thought of a bit, is that, uh, like, where that line is, and, like, the spectrum that shooters exist between, because, uh, like, you, you have, like, to me it kind of goes between boomer shooter and, uh, like, tactical shooter, I guess. Because, like, if you're going strictly off of, like, the age of the games, right, like, Rainbow Six has been around since the 90s, but it's, it's very obviously not what people mean when they say boomer shooter. Counter-Strike's formula is not new. Like, Counter-Strike, even before Source, right? There was there was just CS 1.6, I think it was. You know, it's, it's a different kind of game. It's just as old. All right, not just as old as Wolfenstein. I think it takes the cake as the first, like, as, like, the founding member of the FPS, uh, genre. The, the gunfire er, er, drowned out my voice. <laughs> Just like real gunfire, so immersive. <laughs> uh, let's see. I mean, basically, all I'm saying is just that it's... Uh, it, shooters exist on, on a kind of spectrum. You know, and it's like autism, you know, it is a spectrum, so... So, some exist kind of in between. Like, for me, kind of like the platonic medium between tactical and, uh... uh between tactical and, like, boomer is Halo... And, and games like it, where, like, I'd, I'd even kind of lump uh, Call of Duty's, like, uh, call, like, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, well, like, the 2007, 2009 ones. I don't, I haven't played the new stuff, so I don't know how it compares. What the fuck? Was I supposed to drop shit in there? I mean, if I was 
was supposed to drop something. Let's see what I, what I was doing, dropping. Is it this thing? It's gotta be this, right? That. We better hurry. We've got to tear down this camp and get out of here. Greetings to the free man. Come on in. I'll show you what you're up against. You know what? I'm kind of eepy. I'm gonna go ahead and make a make a save. Make a hard save. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and. Uh, I think I'm gonna go call it there. I've had a good time tonight. Uh, the game is not as frustrating as I remember it being. Um, probably because I'm not, like, a retarded child anymore. Uh, wait. Uh, let me pop over to... Wah, look at that. Bam. Uh, the game is not as frustrating as I remember it being, which is a good thing. It's always a good thing when a game is not as frustrating as you remember it being. Uh, especially when the reason it was frustrating is because it was... Uh, I remember it being a lot tougher in the combat sections. Maybe I had it set to hard because I was a 12-year-old with something to prove. But, like, it's not been nearly as annoying as I remember it being. And then the puzzle sections are still the puzzle sections. Ugh. And I've always sucked at puzzles. We demonstrated that with uh, System Shock. Which I think... I, I still... St it's one of those things I... After playing System Shock 1, like, the, I played the Enhanced Edition, so maybe it's, like, different if I play the original, unenhanced, you know, shitty, non-compatible version... Like, maybe it's just different if I do that. But the, uh, playing the Enhanced Edition, like, I feel like Half-Life has been underwhelming. Like, I feel like, uh, a lot of the things that, that System Shock did, Half-Life did, kind of, like, they did the same, but also worse. Like, I, I realize it's a very different style of game. One is a lot more uh one like has the level set out and like the world exists as it exists permanently whereas half-life kind of takes you between different locales and is closer to doom in that way All right where you like you go like you go from one level to the next to the next to the next and there's not really backtracking what if the hype made it feel disappointing I I mean maybe that's a possibility but I I think I said before I didn't really buy into the hype anyways like I remember as a kid that it was like growing up hearing people talk about Half-Life and being like oh yeah this this game was uh, amazing you know it like redefined the industry and I'm sure it did I'm like I'm not saying like oh the game is insignificant and uh, it's just overblown. I just kind of, like, I chalk it up to the fact that I've played a lot of games that were influenced by Half-Life, right? So it doesn't really do anything that I haven't seen or that, I, that kind of really impresses me, but it's also not old enough that I, that I feel like I look at it and I'm like, oh, wow, that must have been very, like, uh, that must have been very inventive back then. 
You know, because, like, I played System Shock, and, like, one of the things that I saw attributed to Half-Life was, like, oh, ammo in boxes. And, like, System Shock did that years prior. Uh, so, like, the, oh, unbroken first-person narrative. And, I mean, if you want to be really strict about it, maybe, but for all intents and purposes, System Shock does that too? Like, they have the beginning cutscene, and then, like, you see the, uh, like, you, you see all this station stuff happening on a computer monitor, right? Like, you're, you're seeing it, like, in first person still, and the game doesn't break that illusion until the very end, where it has, like, the caps, like, the ending cutscene. Which, I mean, kind of, Half-Life 1 does that similarly, where, but it's, it's still in first person, I guess. That, like, if you want to be really strict about it, I, you, you can give that to Half-Life. But, like, just playing, like, 99% like of the game of System Shock is in first person. It's like a couple of cutscenes, like, if you die... Uh, if you, if you don't fucking, uh, oh, geez, this is what I, this is why, this is why I write out scripts for, uh, certain things. Cause I, I'm just not very, I'm not very eloquent. Funny to advertise an unbroken POV narrative where the protagonist has no personality cause they don't talk. I mean, I, I can kind of see it. Like, I d it's it's kind of weird. I like uh, I I I like silent protagonists for the most part. Like one of the one of the reasons I can kind of get I I, it, I don't know. I don't mind a silent protagonist. I don't know if I necessarily like them. I I like them very uh, very explicitly. The only place that I will actively like, in, uh a silent protagonist is in like an RPG or something. And that's like, I don't like voice acting when I'm like, when I'm playing role playing a character. What if you did a segment in your video about how thief was innovative or whatever, and then talk about innovative games versus ones that then that do it better and bring up half life. I could, I feel like I need to do a lot of research on that though, because like I, I know that, Half-Life was innovative in ways that I don't, like, I'm not super aware of. Like, I'm pretty sure, uh, I'd have to, like, trace the genealogy of the engine, essentially. Because if I'm not mistaken, uh, Valve purchased a licensed version of the Quake engine and used that to create, uh, I want to say it was Gold SRC, which was the, uh, for, uh, I think that was the engine for Half-Life 1. I, I, I'd have to, like I said, I have to talk, I, I'm talking out of my ass for the most part right now. But uh, I don't remember, because I don't remember most of the stuff that I've, like, heard in passing over the years. And they, cha but they changed things about it and they made, like, the Gold SRC was what built CS, um, Team Fortress, Half-Life, uh, and I want to say there was another game that I don't remember the name of. And then later on, there was like, they have like the, the Source engine. Was it Source? Yeah, it was Source. And then they had like Redux of the games. And then they had like uh, TF2 and shit as well. One of the things, like... I don't know shit about the tech. Yeah. <laughs> and that's fair. Like, uh, Thief was... Thief's biggest innovation was being a stealth game that didn't rely on, like, pure line of sight. And I still don't think there are any other games that do that that aren't, like, directly biting off Thief. Like, I talked about Filcher, uh, I think, two streams ago. Like, I mentioned it. Because Filcher is Thief, 
just with a with a different art style and on a different engine. If you melt marshmallows, you can use your fingers to fling them on cookies and cakes and make cobwebs. Oh. Huh. That actually sounds really cool. But yeah, fucking, um, yeah, I, I mean, I could do some research. I might do, I, I might look into doing something like that. I, I want to, I wanted to do a video on, uh, on like the fucking, what, what is it called? Like the biggest innovations and the biggest, uh, milestones in different genres like, one of the things that, uh, one of the, one of the things, like, like, not necessarily, like, an unspoken heroes thing, but more like a, oh, like, fucking, in, what is it, like, Halo 2 being, like, the first real, like, playing online on a console, right, playing Xbox Live and, like, just and having multi access to matchmaking online 10 hour analysis on video on Barbie horse adventures you know i i, I can i can set that as a goal like if i do a, not not a 10 hour analysis video but like just playing barbie horse adventures for like 2 hours or something i'd be happy to do that it'd be silly but it'd be it could be fun People screaming the other kind of <laughs> the other kind of word at at each other over a cornflakes headset, dude. I had those cornflakes headsets, the ones that uh, I had one that was like it only had the uh, fucking input, or, or I guess the audio output, like for other people's uh, audio on the one ear, and then it was just kind of like it just kind of, it was like a band that just connected to your temple essentially. And the the mic was so terrible on those things, but the, it was so much fun though. Cornflakes headset screaming always makes me laugh because I have toddler humor. Yeah, it's like listening to those Tyler One screams, like when Tyler One is having a fucking tantrum or whatever. It's fucking hilarious. It I I I love those things. Inject the cornflake wave straight into your temple vein. Yeah, exactly. Uh But yeah. Um so current thoughts on Half-Life 2. The game is fun, but uh I don't really see the like the, the hype behind it. I think it's I think it's a perfectly fine game, but I'm not I'm not loving the physics puzzles cuz they lead me to do some stupid shit when I don't really need to. But that's also, like, a skill diff thing for me. Cornflakes frequency to manifest and lose weight. Jesus, amen, 777, seven, seven, real. Oh my god. She's throwing angel numbers at me, guys. I don't know what to do. But yeah, it's, uh... I think, the, I think the gunplay is fun. The puzzles are fine, but I feel like Portal just did puzzles better. Which, obviously, you know, it's the puzzle game, so I kind of expect that. And I'm not going to lie, I feel like Portal is Valve's strongest showing out of the games that, of theirs that I've played. Half-Life is like, it's a meme. <laughs> I, like, I think what really built up the hype in my mind was like, all those years of like, oh, Half-Life 3 confirmed. Half-Life 3 confirmed, and it's, like, never confirmed, really, because it's silly. But, yeah. I'm gonna go sleep. I hope you guys have a good rest of your evenings. Uh, it's gonna be... <laughs> it's gonna be a, a, a bit. Just wait until unironic Half-Life 3 comes out. And it's also mediocre, despite everyone nutting. 
I mean, that's kind of... Isn't that why G Gaben said that they weren't going to do it? Like, they they were... They decided instead to, uh... To, like, focus on... Like, the, the VR technology, right? Because I think Half-Life Alex technically is Half-Life 3. But it's also, like... It's also, like, a tech demo. Kind of the way Doom 3 was for id... You know, but because it's on VR, like point zero one percent of their uh, <laughs> of their player base has tried it. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna hop off for now. I hope you guys have a good one. I might be live Friday again. I'm I want to try and make this a regular thing, but I also am probably gonna start streaming at like normal human hours when I have nothing better to do. Just to play something so we'll we'll see how things go i hope you guys have a good rest of your days peace on you Buh bye bye